So let's flip this camera, beautiful people. Welcome, beautiful people. Hopefully we have great reception here. Today's topic is abundance. My name is Marvin LeBlanc. Welcome all of you new people to the Periscope format. Kevin Arrow is in the house. Welcome. Hello, Nabasubi. And at Sarah Wood Wellness, you want to follow at Sarah Wood Wellness, Wellness because she is following me today. My name is Marvin LeBlanc. I am, in fact, an Amazon best selling author of the book, Come Hell or High Water, Life Lessons from Hurricane Katrina. And so with a book like that and the tragedy and adversity uh, that I had an opportunity to endure, actually today's topic on abundance is a perfect topic. And my grateful thank you princesses in the house, and that is honestly catchy. She is an amazing individual. Everybody that's coming into the scope right now, be sure to go ahead and not only share those hearts, because y'all know my Southern Louisiana, I just love, I just love your hearts, and I miss you. I miss each one of you, but make sure that you follow everybody that you see here, because what you're seeing scroll up right now is a long list of of givers. It's also a long list of people that really love to live in abundance. You see, abundance is a choice. Abundance is an inside job. It's actually not an outside job. And make no mistake about it, abundance does not necessarily mean materialism. You see, so many times people think that abundance has to do with stuff. And abundance is much more important than stuff. Certainly material wealth, um, everything should be in moderation, but we've become so consumed with material wealth. I mean, over there in Qatar, there's an unbelievable tall, tall tower. And yet, oh, we have to build one that's taller than the tallest tower. All, all about that excess and what we we want to talk about today is abundance. And so let's go through the action steps on how you can bring abundance into your life. The first action step that I have here is gratitude. And on gratitude is when we go to bed at night. And look, there's nothing wrong with still getting on your knees, by the way, at night. But get on your knees and think of all the things that happened that day that you are grateful for. The very fact that you have an opportunity right now to be viewing a Periscope live stream means that you actually already are extremely advanced because are you aware that the majority of the world still doesn't have a smartphone? Huh. They may be in fact smarter because they don't have a smartphone. They certainly are in a less complicated world. I think we can agree on that. So be grateful. Uh, Dale Carnegie had a two-word rule and that rule was expect ingratitude. So we should expect ungrateful people to come in our life. But we do not have to stay around those ungrateful people. It means that you have a choice. You have an inside job inside your heart to protect your mind and your being against the negativity and ungrateful people. The second ap action step, if you want to create abundance, is to donate I said in here, donate, and then I put a hyphen there, donate quietly. That means that you don't have to have a name on a building, okay? You can donate quietly. You can actually actually make a goal every day that no matter what, before you go to bed tonight, did I commit three random acts of kindness because in gratitude and in donating your time, your resources, that's where the abundance gets created. 
That's where abundance get created. Now, number three, give sincere praise. And what I'm talking about there is in a world that's always looking at the red X's of what we're not doing well. Uh, oh, you should do this and you should that do that. Well, guess what, Beth Hoover? Nobody wants to be should on, okay? So can we look at a person and call out to them on a daily basis what their strengths are and actually give them sincere praise and appreciation? Not, not any half-hearted, superficial comp compliment. I mean, something that really matters. So the first action step towards abundance is gratitude. The second apps, uh, action step towards abundance is to donate your resources and your time quietly. The third action step is to give sincere praise and appreciation. And then the fourth action step is really hard for a lot of people, and that is to forgive. And what I'm talking about is the reason why we have to forgive. Yes, it hurts. Forgiving is awfully hard, but it's also so important because you cannot live your life in a state of bitterness, constantly being pissed off because of what somebody didn't do for you or because you had a certain expectation that they refused to live up to. That is a lose-lose proposition. So the reason why we have to forgive is for our own mental health. For our own mental health is the reason we have to forgive. And then the last thing I want to tell you is that when we forgive, when we give sincere praise, when we donate quietly, when we show gratitude, and when we show love, what we have just done with those five action steps is we have just created an attraction People want to be attracted to others that are selfless. People want to be attracted to others that are givers. Nobody really wants to be around someone who their whole goal every day when they wake up is to bitch, moan, and whine. Okay, nobody wants to. That person's not going to be attractive. That person's not going to be attractive on the outside. And more importantly, on the inside, that person is caustic. But if we go an extra step, and we show the love, then we're doing our part to attract the right kind of abundance in our life. Now listen, this is all tying in perfectly to what Perry 10K is. And so my little beautiful sign, perry10k.com forward slash app, is a sign where you can go to be around motivated givers that seek abundance in our life, okay? These are people that it's just not, well, it's somebody I just live stream with. No, no, it's much deeper than that. Like, we really care. The fact is, fellow Perry 10K people probably have better relationships uh, with each other than maybe some of their own relatives that they are constantly struggling with. So please, go to perry10k.com and check us out. Is this the right kind of vibe for you to be around unselfish givers? Because man, it surely is a light in my life and I'd like to be a light in your life. Also, if you go to marvinleblanc.com, marvinleblanc.com has a new site. It's got free resources. We have great downloadable tools. The other thing is we have a library waiting for you at Marvin LeBlanc. A library. And guess what? If you don't want to ever financially make any commitment towards my website, all of that stuff is still there valuable. And so what we're trying to do is spread the right spirit to everybody in the world, not just America, 
but in the world. We all need more gratitude. We all meet, need more love. We all need more forgiveness. We all need more of the same things. The truth is we're not that different. We all want to be appreciated. We all want to be successful and pay our own way, but we don't have to live excessive. Just because you live excessive doesn't make you significant. So the last thing I want to say is, can somebody tell me, okay, so right now Sage Cryptic just told me that Sarah Wood Wellness is live. And so out of appreciation, let's all go to Sarah Wood Wellness right now and see her amazing attitude and her amazing lessons on abundance. My name is Marvin LeBlanc. I wish you peace. I wish you love. And I wish you gumbo. Goodbye, everybody.